Hey, welcome everybody to our Hack'em All series. I'm really excited to get started today. The piece that we're gonna be hacking is our winter box piece, which is the snowflake. Um, and we're gonna paint it today. Um, so get ready to get your hands dirty, to get paint all over them. Um, and what we're gonna need for this is a paintbrush. We're gonna need any color paint that you want. And for this hack, we're gonna go with blue. Um, blue is for winter, um, and I am also very uh, minimalist. I don't like a lot of color in my house, um, and I don't have a lot of wood finishing, so it's perfect um, just as a nice addition to your wall if you have some good art that you like. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Um, so what you want to do before we even get into painting and all of that fun stuff is you can go here and you can remove the rope that is attached at the top of the snowflake. What's really good about this product is that it's easily changeable. So how long did that take me? Probably about five seconds, which is really nice. Um, so you can take that, throw that, <laughs> unless you want to keep it for some reason in your house. Um, but you always want to declutter in my opinion. Um, so anyway, let's get started. You can take your paintbrush and open up your bottle of paint that you've chosen. And remember, we have blue for this, but you really can't go wrong with any color here, just so long as it fits in your house. And like I said, that's the really great thing about Deco Created is that our items are easily hackable, or if you just wanna have the item in your home, that's cool too. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush into the paint. And honestly, I'm not good at hacking a lot of things, um, but what I am good at is coloring. Um, just, you know, to de-stress when you get home from work, or if you're just working from home, you can just, you know, make sure that you're taking some time to yourself. And this is a really, really easy way to do that. Um, and I just like just getting my hands dirty. So you can really start wherever on this, but I'm gonna start from the center and just brush lightly. And see, that's a really nice color for winter, like I said. I originally wanted to go with white, but I realized, why not? Let's just go crazy. And if you take a look, you can see that I'm getting all of my edges here. Um, I am super picky and a bit of a perfectionist. So if, you, if any of my perfectionists are out there, Please get all of your corners. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to miss, but easy to miss as well. So you're just gonna paint, you're just gonna, you know, oh, if I have any music lovers out there, uh, you can put some music on. If you want some peaceful vibes, you can really go and put some jazz, some classical, you know, I just listen to everything. So it just depends on your mood but I'm a super music head. So anyway, back to our painting. See, you can really easily get lost in this. Just let your mind be free, you know, no stress for today, or at least for these next few minutes. <laughs> and one thing is that I, you don't necessarily need to paint the back of the snowflake but if you'd like to you can but obviously people aren't going to see it so it's not an immediate concern but what's really important if you do see one coat it depends on what paint you have but sometimes one coat won't do the trick so if you want to just continue to dip your brush into the paint and just go over it one more time i like to do that just for a fresh nice um, thick finishing, but you don't have to. But for the sake of this hack, we're gonna do it. <laughs> I also don't know if you guys have um, coloring books that you use. I really like making sure that my lines are super clean. So if you wanna practice just using a coloring book, you know, you can do that. 
And what's really nice is that if your arm gets tired and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore, just get one of your kids. <laughs> or you can definitely do this with a friend, um, have them bring over their own color. You know, if you don't like, you know, one type of color, you can paint the snowflake, maybe one side red, one side green. Woo, we're getting super creative over here. <laughs> All right, so we've finished painting the snowflake in this really dreamy blue color. And just make sure that you check the paint bottle to make sure, you know, drying time. Every paint is different, so you'll just wanna keep that in mind. Um, but this is what the final product looks like. And if you decide to go crazy and use different colors, uh, we really encourage that. So don't be afraid to do that and really let your creativity shine. I hope that it was as relaxing as it was for me. Thank you guys so much for joining. All I'm gonna do is I know that I said you could just toss this out, but if you wanna hang this on your wall with some art pieces or with some other Christmas or holiday or Hanukkah, whatever decorations you have at home, um, don't be afraid to Stick this back in there so we're gonna put this through the little hole at the top and if you want you can use a pencil or a pen to kind of help you I'm gonna try and do this on my own ah I did it uh, so maybe you don't need a pen or a pencil and then you just want to loop it through and then just make it tighter one more time and there you go <laughs> You have your snowflake all painted and ready to be hung. So thank you guys so much for joining and we'll see you next time.